Join us as we walk the Arabella Loop Trail and share some of the history of the LaCloche Mountains. Want to go see the Arabella Loop? Let's go! Porcupine up ahead. Stretching from LaCloche Provincial Park south of the town of Massey to Killarney Provincial Park southwest of Sudbury, the LaCloche Mountains are a distinctive geological region in northeastern Ontario. On today's hike, I will travel a little over 7 kilometers or 4.3 miles and climb about 220 meters or 720 feet. Here's the southern entrance to the Arabella Loop. We're going to go a little bit further north and catch that one. We are taking a trail that will lead us around Katrine Lake and it features a nice elevated lookout on the north shore. These trails are well maintained with excellent signage. Hikers and backpackers have a number of routes from which to choose, all offering a unique experience. I recognize this hill from last year. Isn't that a steep one? He doesn't mind it. So last year I was on this exact trail for the first time. I wasn't really following my uh, trail guide or anything. And ended up missing the Arabella mountain completely and went on to the higher air rat instead. So it turned out to be a good mistake, but this time we're going to give Arabella a good look. A smoky haze from forest fires hundreds of miles away blankets the entire region, but still provides enough visibility to see Lake Huron. Estimates vary, but these mountains are believed to be at least 2.5 billion years old. Comprised primarily of a distinctive quartz sandstone, this mountain range showcases the forces of nature that have shaped its landscape over countless millennia. The accumulated sandstone was subjected to immense pressure and heat, resulting in its transformation into the striking white quartzite that characterizes the region today. It's believed that these hills were once taller than the Rocky Mountains, but were eroded down to their current peaks of about 500 meters or 1600 feet. Legend has it that these rocks were once used by the First Nations people as warning bells or toxins. These bell rocks, as they were called, could be heard over considerable distances when struck. In the 17th century, voyageurs who explored the area subsequently gave the range its name La Cloche, which means bell in French. In the early 20th century, the allure of this landscape brought Canada's esteemed Group of Seven to this region. Here, first year, the Group of Seven were renowned landscape painters and many of their iconic works owe their inspiration to these hills and lakes. More recently, and not surprisingly, these lands have been at risk of commercial development for many years, which brings us to today. As of 2021, this area is now protected by the Escarpment Biosphere Conservancy. These forests, along with the Heaven's Gate Trail, will remain public lands for the foreseeable future. And that's it for the Arabella Loop, other than the main trail to get back to the parking. We're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.